Lee on One Life to Live. Jessica, look at me. Jessica. Who's there? We need help. Run out to the road and flag someone down. Hurry. John, I'm going to dog your every step. I am going to haunt your every waking hour until you tell me who killed my son. Story and Lord Hayes, RJ Gannon, you're both take, under arrest. Take your hands off my wife. The right to remain no, silent. No, no. Now choose to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. What? Where am I? Vicky's cabin. Right. In, in, in the woods. How did we get here? We drove here from Vicky's, remember? Where, where you've been living. Huh. I'm living at Vicky's. I've been in jail. You know, since that little thing at the lodge. No thanks to you. You know, Taya, I've done some things to you, but I don't know why you hate me so much. I don't hate you. I never have hated you, Todd. Wait, the lodge, that was months ago. Come on. You were right there. You're sitting next to Sam. He's hammering at me. I... Oh, boy. About what happened with my father and... And my head started to hurt. Yeah? And, and, and then? Okay, I don't remember much after that. Wait, who are you? Mahatma Gandhi. What do you mean, who am I? I mean, who are you? Which one? Which one? Yeah. You, Taya, me, talk. There is no more probable cause here than there was the night of the shooting. Well, about time, Henry. All right, take it easy, little brother. Are you kidding? There's enough circumstantial evidence to put R.J. Gannon away for years, not to mention his evading arrest and going into hiding. I was not evading arrest. I was pursuing Dorian Lord as a concerned citizen. Dorian talk you into it, going into hiding? Well, now, that's lesson number one. Never listen to Dorian Lord. You lied to me. Each and no, every one of you lied, lied to me. Didn't. Yes, Dorian, you did. We just left out a few details. I had the That's feeling all. that no. something was wrong with Cassie, and you evaded my no, questions. No, how dare you presume to hide the... Don't be angry with them, all right? They were just doing what I asked them to do. Why? I sensed that something was wrong in my heart. I'm your mother. I know, mother, but I didn't want to put you in any further jeopardy. <laughs> Babe. Oh, hold, on. Hold, hold on. Let me get these damn things off you. West! I want these cuffs off my wife now. I just wanted to hold you. I know, I know. Dorian, I'm sure Sam is on his way. Could you please tell us the extent of the injury? I'm sorry, sir, but they reported several minor injuries and one victim unconscious. I don't know how this happened. Jessica and Will left the wedding and drove where and why? And Christian and Rosanna were in a different car? If your son was drinking so hey, healthy... my son does not drink and drive. Oh, really? Really? Well, then why was he arrested waving a bottle around? Because when it was a prank, the bottle wasn't even A open. prank? It was a damn stupid... Hey, stupid knock it off! No, my wait, son is... please! Please, we're not here to fight. We're here for the kids. Please. No, I don't get it. Why would just walk out on Kevin and Cassie's wedding? I don't know. I don't know. But don't worry, Joey. Everything is going to be okay. Right? Enough that has already happened. We've got an MBA, Cosnabello C, but it's oh stable. Jessica! Oh, my God. Okay. Where are her parents? Where are her parents? Okay, just hang back. Where are her parents? You'll have to wait here. Oh, 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 o
She has a pulse. She's breathing. She's breathing. breathing. Oh my God. What's wrong with her? Why is she unconscious? She's moving here bilaterally. Good. People's equal and reactive. Tom, if this is some kind of joke, it's not uh, who's funny. Tom? You know, you've been drinking or smoking or sniffing something funny. You know, you're acting awfully strange. Oh, I'm acting strange. I am? Hey, what happened at the trial anyway, huh? I think somebody must have hit me in the head or something because I was out. I was out cold. I'm not going back there. There's no way I'm going back on trial. No way. Nuh-uh. You were tried. It's, it's over. Hey, I think I... Okay, I'm pretty sure I'd remember my own trial. Well, you were tried, and, and you were found not guilty. Right. So it's a dream. I get it. It's a dream. Woo! Woo! Okay, I'll play along. Um, and Sam got me off. How? You were acquitted because of your DID. You have disassociative identity disorder, Todd. Multiple personalities. I'm Vicky. <sighs> well, cut it out. This is not funny. Come on, Delgado. You're the one who's acting funny. Delgado, okay? Which one of them call... None of them call me that except for Pete, and you're... Todd? Todd, is that you? That's how we started all this, right? I think you'd better sit down. I think I'd better sit down. I got quite a story for you. Oh, I need to make something clear. I didn't kill your boy. I mean, I've been a lot of things, but I'm not a paid assassin. I know that, RJ. John? Well, I was over at election headquarters when I heard about the arrest. Sykes, I want those cuffs off my wife. How'd Graham do in the elections? It's close, but the uh, results won't be in for a few hours. Did you hear me? I want them off. Call off that zealot of yours. John, look, why don't you just drop these charges, all right? They're bogus. Excuse me, but do you think you could try and display some humanity and give me some time alone with my daughter? Mother, please don't make things worse for yourself. They couldn't be any worse. I'm asking you very, very nicely to let me loose. Dorian's no threat to you here. At least let her be with her daughter. Okay, you know, if you're gonna persist in this manner, I am going to file harassment charges first thing in the morning. Excuse me. Detective West, is it? Don't you think the cuffs to the chair are a little bit of a power trip? Not when she's threatened to scratch her eyes out. Really? Well, this is a woman who knew she was risking arrest when she came to her wedding. She also just found out her daughter is paralyzed. You could show a little compassion. Detective, you can take off the cuffs. Against my better judgment. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, dear. Kevin, I hope you're not expecting me to uh, be grateful. See, that bullet was intended for you. You should be in this wheelchair Mother, or me. someplace worse. Please. Kevin has been very good to Cassie. He loves her very much, and he is your son in law now. Not in my book. Not ever in my book. Well, I can understand why you feel that way, ma'am. Don't you dare patronize me. Sweetheart, if I had known, I could have been by your side. Yes, and you would have been arrested that much sooner. Right now, at least I can do something about it. Oh, nurse. My son and his friend get to be examined also. You'll have the to accident. check with the triage nurse over oh, His there. hand is bleeding. I can't get here, Jess. Yeah, they won't let me see Will either. Of course, if they did, his mother would kick me out. Uh, Come with me, please. Oh, thank you. Uh, he needs to see a surgeon for his hand. His hand. What's happening? What are they saying? They put me on hold. Damn it, I've got to reach Kevin. Look, I tell you what, why don't you stay here and be here for Jessica, and, and I'll be down to the police station and get Kevin. Thank you so much. I'll be right back. All right. Hey. I think they just parked us in here to shut us up. I mean, why will they not tell us anything about Will and Jessica? Well, you tell me. Right before we crashed, you said Jessica's pregnant. I mean, how crazy are you? I told you, Jessica... You told me that you hadn't slept with her. Yeah? But Will did. 
It's true, okay? This is crazy. What did, what did you get this crazy idea? I figured it out, finally. And Jessica didn't deny it. No, she wouldn't. They didn't mean for it to happen, okay? It was a stupid mistake when they had had way too much to drink at the lodge that night. I'll kill him. That's 100%. Your son was very lucky. Had two fractured ribs, abrasions, and bruises. Well, shouldn't his ribs be taped or something? Well, that's been shown not to be any real help. Uh, he's going to be sore all over, especially tomorrow, but we'll give him pain medication. Dr. Lang, you're needed in three. Excuse me. Sweetie, are you okay? It uh, hurts to breathe and move. You gave us quite a scare, pal. Sorry. What guy? Uh, what happened? I mean, you you were driving, right? Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. You know, it all happened so fast. Just uh, all of a sudden, lights were up on us, and look, well, if you don't mind me asking, I mean, where were you and Jessica going? Easy, easy. Okay, we don't know the full extent of her injuries yet, but I've ordered a CAT scan and x-rays and... Okay. What's that? She's in cardiac arrest. Get the oh, cat out of the Let's get an IVG. Simple bow, I just can't drop the charges. Oh. The evidence points to a conspiracy between Mrs. Lord Hayes and R.J. Gannon. Very good, May. Where'd you learn that, huh? Cop School 101? Hey, muzzle it, R.J. You're your own worst enemy. Cassie, what do you mean you can handle it? It's simple. That I will take care of it. How? Mother, I may be paralyzed, but there are still things I can do. What will you please tell me? Don't you think that you kept me in the dark long enough? Kevin, Kevin, you gotta come quickly. There's been an accident. It's Jessica. Oh. One and two and three and four and five and Where's one. Where's Anna's Please don't let her die. One, he brought her this far. He's not about three, to let her down four, now. Five. All right, charge the paddles to 200. I'm hyperventilating. Clear! <laughs> No pulse. Charge to 250. Clear? She has a pulse. All right, we got it back. I, I don't really understand. I mean, are you telling me you don't remember where you and Jessica were going? Low life. You're going to wish hey, you died in that crash. Hey, 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 what the hell's going on? Lo que mato con mis manos. You stay away from my child. Mom, mom, it's okay. He's... he's He's got a right to be angry. It's all your fault. You did this to her. And the very last person to show up at the trial was Pete. He was terrifying. You don't really expect me to believe any of this, do you? <laughs> you know, I think ultimately it was Pete who convinced the jury that you had DID, because if you'd been faking, why would you have shown them that kind <coughs> of violence? <clears throat> right, right, right. How, how, how does Pete... Pete. <laughs> okay, how does Pete come out? Well, Pete comes out when you or one of your alters is threatened and Hank was pushing you really hard. Right, okay, no, no, no. So, so, so sometimes I'm Rod, is right, Rod, and I speak with, an, I'm a, Italian, but I have a Russian accent. I don't speak Italian, all right, much less Russian. And then I turn into a school teacher. I hate teachers. I think we should take all the teachers and put them on a boat and push it out to sea. I hated school. Well, Tom didn't. I know it's hard to believe, but, but it's true. It's true. Well, it would explain the, the blank spots. Blank spots? Yeah, sometimes I, I'm someplace and I... I'm not sure how I got there. Why have you never mentioned this to me before? Well, I didn't want anybody to think I was screwy. <laughs> You're not screwy. No, no, I, I just put on a bathrobe and spout Italian, or <laughs> sometimes I turn into this little boy, and then if I'm really bored, I turn into an old spinster. 
Now that's not too screwed up. You were you were protecting yourself. It, you know, it, it, it was the, the sanest solution possible. Your mind created all these other personalities to protect you from something that you never should have had to deal with. You know, maybe if you'd let yourself face it, if you would talk about it, you wouldn't need them anymore. It's about your, your adoptive father, isn't it? Something, something he did, something bad. All right, you shut your stupid mouth right now. Pete. Tell me they don't even know what's wrong with Jess. No, not yet. When I left, she was still unconscious. Oh, gosh. I don't understand this. We just saw her at the wedding. How did it happen? I don't know. Apparently, she left with Will. I guess with all the excitement of the ceremony, no one noticed. Wait a minute. Jesse was in the car with Will Rappaport? Yeah. Well, that's why Sam's not here. Well, maybe you'd better go to him. No, Dorian, I'm not going to leave you. I'll be just fine. Blair, Sam may need you. I'm sorry. It's okay. Some wedding night, huh? You go, all right? We'll have the rest of our lives together. I love you. Barbara! Stay, please. Cassie, I really should get back to the hospital. I mean, Joey needs me right now. You've become so indispensable. What would we all do without you? Well, the only reason I came here to get Kevin was for the family's sake. Oh, now you're going to stay here for mine. What exactly do you want from me? You're going to get my mother out of this mess right now. How am I supposed to do that? I have no idea, but I'm sure you'll figure it out because you're so motivated. I can't do that. Oh, I think you can, Barbara. You see, if you don't get your old beau, John Sykes, to drop the charges against my mother, I am going to start singing canary-like. And the first person who's going to hear my song is my brother-in-law, Joey. I don't understand. No, why is Cassie even wasting the time <clears throat> of day on that awful young woman? And why was she part of the wedding? Well, she is part of the family nowadays. She's dating Joey. Oh, well, I guess that proves everything I told you about Joey was true. As for my daughter, she's far too generous for her own good. Ah, oh, Daddy's here. Go talk to him, Barbara. And Barbara, talk well. Because you wouldn't want to disappoint a woman in a wheelchair. Another call, Roseanne and Chris. Roseanne! Why, Dios. Chris. Him! He's the one that did this to her. He was driving the car. That doesn't mean the accident was his fault. Chris? Apurate. Something's wrong with Roseanne. Don't, Roseanne, don't what's wrong? Move! Don't move a muscle. Look, pal, the doctors will take care of Roseanne. Don't no, worry about it. I have to, no, I have like to see her. Stop it! You are not going to see her, and I wouldn't be surprised if this accident was her fault. Mom, if it wasn't for Roseanne, I would be dead. What happened? Well, apparently you passed out. How is she? Oh, one moment. Hold, Hi, hold up. sweetie. Hold up one finger. Now, what year is this? 1998. <laughs> She was waiting to be examined. Well, we'll do that right now, and I'll order some tests. Are you her mother? Uh, no, I'm her... Well, her closest relative in town is uh, her aunt. I'll try to reach her. I'm going to try to reach Taya. I'll be back. Sure you okay? Yeah, it's just that... I knew that you were going after Will, so I tried to get up. Is he okay? We're still waiting on x-rays and a CAT scan. Uh, we, had, we needed to get her stabilized. Her electrolytes were off, which caused her heart arrhythmia. And in the meantime, I need some information. Uh, is she allergic to any medicines? No. Okay, does she have any medical problems? Heart disease, heart murmur? No, heart no, pressure? she's always been a very healthy child. Okay, good. Is there a chance she could be pregnant? Uh, we're taking some x-rays, which can be harmful to a fetus. Oh, I understand. But there's absolutely no way my daughter could be pregnant. Just a minute, Glenn. I hate to say this, but I'm not entirely sure.
You just made a big mistake. Really? How? You're bringing up something that he can't even deal with. Peter Manning and what he did to you. He didn't do anything to me. He did it to Todd. Only I'm here now. So nobody gets to hurt Todd. Not even you. I would never hurt Todd. I love him. Why are him. you bringing up his SOB father? Peter Manning is dead. He can't hurt Todd anymore. And Todd doesn't need... Oh, but that's it, isn't it? You're afraid he won't need you anymore. You're afraid if Todd heals, you'll be obliterated. No, Todd will always need me. He doesn't need that ridiculous rod. He doesn't need that little twit. Tom, and nobody needs anybody like Miss Perkins. But me, I protect him. I protect him from double-crossers like... Oh, look at you. A little scared, huh? Todd is getting better. He... he... Before long, he will be able he to control you. you. Todd doesn't even like you. Well, then let him tell me that himself. Uh, I want to talk to Todd right now. No, Todd doesn't live here anymore. Fight him. Fight him, Todd. Do not let him win. Fight him. Oh, I'm sorry. Todd can't hear you right now. You leave her alone. You leave Taya alone. Todd's never going to win. He's not strong enough. See, Todd went back to sleep where he belongs. Nobody needs Todd. Nobody wants Todd. I do. I do. I want Todd. I want the real Todd. Sorry. You leave her alone. Oh, shut up. You let me handle this. No. You've been handling it long enough. You're right, I've been handling it long enough. You can hear I've been protecting it. you my whole life. You leave me alone, and you leave Taya alone, and you crawl back into whatever sick part of my brain you crawled out of. No! Don't let her destroy you! She will. You'll wind up institutionalized, drooling. You'll wind up wrapped up in a little straitjacket. Never! I love Todd. I love him. I love him. Wait, okay, that, that, um, that was Pete. I, yeah, that was Pete. He's, he's caused you trouble your whole life. He didn't hurt you? No. No, he didn't hurt me. I'll never hurt you. means well this really caps off the evening i was just putting the finishing touches on my victory speech when i heard about the arrests yeah well you haven't won yet and all without your help mr hayes i guess your reporting carries less weight than you think in my speech i'll be sure to point out the fine police work done in my congressional district well congressman while you're at it why not take credit for peanut butter the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees I'm telling you, Graham, the votes aren't all in yet, but if by some unhappy chance you should win, it's going to be the shortest term in history. Once I finish this story, I need to talk to you and my dad. It's well, given the current he's very urgent. Excuse me, Congressman. Um, I just received a page, something that needs both of our attention right now. Duty calls. I wonder what that was about. Well, whatever this is, I'd like to get to it fast because I have to get back to headquarters. Believe it or not, Dad, there are more pressing matters than your election. So what's this all about? You have to let RJ and Dorian go. Oh, no, he doesn't. And if you don't... I'm going out there, and I'm confessing in front of everybody. But you'll do no such thing. 
Now, you and I have talked about this, and I will not allow it. It's not your call, Dad. Besides, tomorrow's your big triumph. You don't want to open the newspaper and read, Graham elected, daughter arrested. Why? Why, why are you doing this? Because I have to. John, you've got a lot to lose here, remember? Barbara, all the evidence, all the evidence points to them. Now, if they're released, there's going to be more pressure on John to solve this crime. Do you understand what that means? Yes, Do you I really understand, understand what that, that means? That means you lose control over everything, including John and me. It's almost over. Why are you trying to ruin your life? Maybe I already have. No, you haven't. You haven't. Not yet. I thought you were in love with Joey Buchanan. Look, I have to do this. I just... I can't believe that you let Will get up, walk out of here, to go see that girl. Lindsay, I couldn't stop him. What was I supposed to do? Like, hold him down? What, tie him down? Well, you what? could have restrained him. You know, Sam, you ought to focus on the children that you have oh. instead of the one that's on the way. Lindsay. Sam. <laughs> Blair. Sam, I just heard. Is, is Will all right? How is she? She's still unconscious. Well, they, they're going to do some tests and uh, maybe some x-rays. Why don't you go inside and see if she can respond to you? Where is she? Uh, right in there. Oh. Now, you said Jessica could be pregnant. Oh, Clint, I don't know. Everything that child has said and done in the last year would say to me, no, it's absolutely not possible. But you know how she's been recently. She's been secretive. Her behavior has been so strange. She broke up with Christian and refuses to tell me why. It's just what it is, he. I want to hear it out of your mouth. Did you sleep with Jessica? It's not what you think. Did you? Yes. She was waiting. That was so important to her. You got her drunk and took advantage of her, you lousy no, piece of no, no, It wasn't no. like that at all. You knocked her up. And then you, you went on and tried to fix it by marrying her. Well, you fixed it all right. She's in there unconscious. No, no, we, we were not going to get married. I read it, man. I read it in her journal. Yeah, I asked her and she said, no, she loves you, man. So if you weren't running off to get married, then where were you going? To a clinic. Maryland. How's Jessica? She's still unconscious. Christian, I need to see you. Outside. Sure. Yeah, I know what it means. It means I'm totally bananas. No. No, it means you're getting better. You fought Pete and you I don't get it. You're in charge. And you acknowledged his presence. Um, it's hard not to. Well, <laughs> but the very fact that you did it, it has to mean that you're beginning to integrate all of your different personalities. Meaning? Meaning you're taking the separate parts of yourself and you're making a whole man. You're, you're accepting your different parts and and you're allowing them to be a part of your life. Oh, I don't know. Uh, listen. Some things happened while you while you were away. Hmm. Like what? Now stay stay calm, okay? You and I got divorced to convince the judge and jury to acquit you, which they did, but they also took away your your custody of Star temporarily. It's not fair. I but know. They... I know. I know it's not fair. And, and, and together we will fight it. But you got to promise me that, that you will focus on changing those things. 
Can you do that? Oh, yeah. I will get you back. And I will get Star back. You can count on it. What? What is going to happen to Aunt Dory? Honey, don't worry about it. I think Mother's going to be just fine, okay? You need to come with me for prints and pictures. Oh, oh, please. Could you just back off? Do I have to cuff you again? That won't be necessary, Detective West. I've just received some information which I cannot divulge at this time. But I'm going to drop all of the charges against R.J. Gannon and Mrs. Lord Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. You'll excuse me, I have a victory to claim. Yeah, you hope. <laughs> What's going on? Justice, I think. Honey, do what you can for our jail. Okay, I'll meet you at the hospital. All right, take care, Bo. Let's go. How did you know what would happen? Because you're innocent, mother. Got some guts, John. You let the innocent people go. It's a start. Tell me how come. Because I know who the real killer is. I really appreciate you coming down like this. Uh, Will's gonna be fine. Oh, thank God. Believe me. I do, and I did many times. Uh, where's Star? Oh, I left her with her nanny. I tell you, this night, um, it just <laughs> drove it home. That kids are just the most important thing we've got. Yeah, they are. In fact, I think I'm going to go home right now and be with Star. Right. Thanks. Bye. I'll see you later. I wish I could hug you harder. Yeah, me too. Just, uh, glad you're okay. I wonder what Jessica's father wanted with Christian. I don't know. Well, I hope she's okay. Jesse, come on. You know better than to scare your brothers like this. Yeah, Jess, you're supposed to be the solid one. I've always been the toughest out of the three. You might be the toughest, but you know what? You look like Sleeping Beauty right now. The only problem with, with that is you're supposed to get up. You think you could do that for your brothers? You think you could wake up, Jess, show us those beautiful eyes of yours? Jess, what do you have to do? Give you a prince? I bet Christian would do the trick. Look, Jess. You're my only sister, all right? That makes you real special. You're so important to me. So don't you dare do, it, do okay, anything uh, stupid. She's going to be fine, Joey. 
she's hearing anything we're saying? Sure I do. She's hearing us. You're hearing everything we're saying, and you're laughing at us right now, aren't you? You know, you ought to wake up, Jesse, because uh, there's no telling what a couple of knucklehead brothers will do to you while you're out. <laughs> what do you say, Joey? Black nail polish? Oh, I think that sounds good. Of course, you might like it. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's cool, right? Jesse, is black nail polish cool? Look, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get far, but let's see if there's anything else we can do. Coming? No, no, I'm gonna uh, just give me a few minutes with it, would you? Yeah. Jess? Look, I'm gonna step outside. I'm not gonna go far, so. Now would be a good time for you to wake up. Jesse. Oh, Jesse, 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 Jesse. Do you know how special you are to me? Probably be kind of hard for you to know because big brothers like to joke around with their little sisters give them a hard time but the truth is that inside we'd do anything for you I want you to grow up I'm watching you get more and more beautiful right in front of my eyes and you know fall in love with Christian hell you get a better track record with relationships than I do learn a lot about commitment from you even though I'm your older brother and I do I learn a lot about commitment and caring and and love I love you Jesse That just doesn't shock you out of this sleep. I don't know what would because that's something I never say to you. But I do. I love you very much. I don't want you to wake up because I'm not going to lose you. You hear me? I'm not going to lose you. Now, this might sound a little ridiculous to you, but we need you to tell us that there is no way Jessica could be pregnant. Tune for scenes from the next One Life to Live. The next One Life to Live. You might as well tell me, John, because I'm not going to give you a minute's peace until you do. Lindsay knows that Bo can't father another child. Whatever you and Jessica decide, it affects us all. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, the fallout from Election 98. Is the GOP congressional leadership in trouble? Plus, teen heartthrob Jonathan Taylor Thomas. That's tomorrow on Good Morning America. Will Jessica's pregnancy finally be revealed? Get a sneak peek at tomorrow's One Life to Live by visiting ABC.com.